Hey guys, it's Forrest here with Rocky Mountain School of Photography. And today I'm trying to bring a little bit of fun to a topic of today's video, which is not that fun, cleaning up messes in Lightroom. So if you've used Lightroom Classic for any length of time, you've probably caused some sort of mess in the program. And the mess I wanna talk about today are missing photos and missing folders. So here's the deal, Lightroom is a catalog based system. Lightroom, the whole program runs on a catalog. And what that means is that when you import pictures into Lightroom, PS, if you don't know how to import or you're causing problems when you import, I have a video down in the description that I made on importing. But when you import images into Lightroom, Lightroom is remembering where you import those images to. And what I mean by that is if you import 100 images into the pictures folder on your internal hard drive, Lightroom now remembers that you have 100 photos living in your pictures folder on your internal hard drive. And the reason that that's important is if one day your internal hard drive fills up and you move those images somewhere else, just using Finder or using Windows Explorer, whether you're Mac or PC, Lightroom's catalog will no longer know where those images are. And that's a super common thing that happens to so many people. The way it manifests itself for us in Lightroom is those little exclamation points or the question marks or the, the little message that says this photo is offline or missing. A lot of different scary things where you may know where your images are now, but Lightroom all of a sudden lost them. So I wanna look at how to fix that today and also how to make it not happen in the future. Now, one quick disclaimer, Lightroom does not lose your pictures on its own you cause it. And the reason that that's important is if this keeps happening to you again and again and again, it means that something in your workflow is causing that problem to occur. So I really recommend that if this is something that uh, just keeps happening, that you identify why so that moving forward, you don't have a bunch of problems being caused. Just take, take, take a moment, it's very important. Okay, so let me show you guys how I organize my files in Lightroom, just so you can have a little bit of an understanding of what the ultimate goal is of organization. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but through the years, I've done a pretty good job of keeping my photos organized. So for me, I choose to store my images on an external hard drive. It makes more sense for me. I can buy cheaper internal hard drive storage laptops put my money in my external hard drives and when I fill these bad boys up, I can just buy a new one. They're really cheap, super easy for me. It doesn't really matter if, if you wanna be an internal hard drive editor. Now, quick note, I would be doing a disservice to the world if I didn't say this. This external hard drive is backed up to two additional external hard drives because if this one dies, I want to have all my data still two places just in case all things are bad. Being around so many students coming through our school every year, I've seen far too many bad things happen to trust one hard drive worth of data. So just wanna put that in there, kind of important, important tidbit, okay? So on my external, I have two folders. I have one folder for images and one folder for my catalog. My catalog, very simple, is my Lightroom catalog, and it's the locations of all of my images, the edits that I've made to those images, the previews for those images, and I like to have one catalog file. Very simple, all of my images are in there. Portrait wedding folks, you guys might have multiple. That's not what this video is about. For me, this is how I stay organized. The other thing in there is my images folder where I have years for all of my different images and inside of each year, just pick this one for an example, I have my different days that I've shot photos with some nice descriptive words on what I shot those days. Keeps things really clean for me. Now, Lightroom, for me is referencing all of these year folders, which means that if I go crazy one day and move them or rename them or do anything different to them from what they are right now, I'm gonna lose, or not me, Lightroom is gonna lose those photographs. So what we need to be very careful of is that when you import images into Lightroom, you leave them where they are. And that takes kind of a uh, intentional importing, you can say. You don't wanna like spaz out through the import window and be like, ooh, doo dee doo dee doo. Like take some time and really apply yourself and develop a workflow and a system that works for you. Again, I have an importing video down in the description. That's a great place to start. Okay, so let's break some stuff because this is too clean for a video. So uh, I'm back in Lightroom here and down here I've got a folder called 2016 -0609 Packer Meadow. Right now, all as well, these images are all here. I can edit them. It was this beautiful day shooting these, uh, these flowers up in this meadow in Montana. Awesome day. But let's break it. 
So I'm gonna do what I just told you guys not to. I'm gonna go inside the folder. I'm gonna go to 2016 where this folder lives. And here it is right here, 2016-06-09 Packer Meadow. Lightroom expects that folder to be exactly right there. Now, there's nothing stopping me from doing what I'm about to do. There's no warning light. There's no siren. There's no little forest on your shoulder telling you not to do it. Check this out. Well, hopefully there is that, but I'm gonna move this folder. I'm gonna drop it inside of the Augusta Rodeo folder. Just moved it, just no big deal, whatever, just a slight little move. Let's go back to Lightroom and let's see what happened. Ooh, so now, check this out. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit for us. Now we can see that 2016-06-09 has a question mark next to it, it's missing. And moreover, the different full files themselves have little exclamation points because they are missing as well. We've just lost images. We've told Lightroom they were one place and then we've intentionally moved them somewhere else. So if you guys have those question marks or those exclamation points, that is what happened. The place that you imported the images to is no longer where the images live. So. How do we fix it? Well, there's a few ways to do it. Way number one is to move it back to where it should live. This is very simple. If I go back to that folder, I go to Augusta Rodeo, and I say, oh, how'd Packer Meadow get in there? What the heck was I thinking? I move this back to 2016, back where it belongs. We pop back into Lightroom and boop, there we go. Bob's your uncle, it's done, it's back, and there's no question mark. Easy fix, super simple, all right? The other way we could do it, maybe we wanted it to be in the new location that we moved it to. Like maybe that one day when you were in Windows Explorer, let me go back one here, and you moved Packer Meadow into Augusta Rodeo, maybe that's because you shot those on the same day and you wanted those to be in the same folder. Well, that's easy too, right? I can go back to Lightroom here, we can zoom in, and this time I don't wanna move it back, I want it to live where it currently is. So I could right click here, go to find missing folder, and then it's gonna pop up a little file browser, let me zoom out, and now I know that that folder lives inside of 2016 Augusta Rodeo, and there it is right there. We can select it, and now check this out, once it reloads, it'll take us a second, there's Sarah chowing down on some bread, just because that's how Lightroom works. I can go ahead and grab that Augusta Rodeo folder, and you'll notice that inside of the Augusta Rodeo folder now is the Packer Meadow folder. So it worked really great, it relinked it in a new location. So. Either way works fine. You can move it back or you can relink it in the updated location. Now, what would have been a better way to do it would have been to move it within Lightroom. So if I wanted that Packer Meadow folder to go back to where it was, I could move it through File Explorer and relink it and do all that. Or I could just click and drag right here and just move it right in Lightroom back to 2016. And it's gonna say, am I sure? And I can say yes. But since I'm doing it within Lightroom, let me pop back into Lightroom here real quick. We can see now it's back where it belongs. There's no question marks and it's all easy. So the takeaway there is it's always fixable, but it's way easier if you need to do any moving or reorganization of stuff to do it within Lightroom because then Lightroom tracks it. Now, the same cleanup can happen at the image level, right? We were just cleaning up folders, but a lot of times you might have one photo that you moved to a different place. Maybe you wanted to put it on Instagram and instead of exporting it, also we have an exporting guide down in the description, hint, hint. Uh, instead of exporting it, you just dragged it to the desktop. Well, Lightroom expects to find it where it originally was. Now it's on the desktop, so it loses it. Well, you do the same thing. You actually just click the exclamation point on the photo and you say, find missing photo, and you point it to the new location that that image lives, or you move the image back to where Lightroom expects to see it. Now, a little quick thing that needs to kind of be talked about on this, and that is this. Uh, a lot of times you won't know where you moved it to. And unfortunately, there's not much help Lightroom can provide in that quest. What I would recommend is say that this image was missing, dsf3459.dng, Lightroom will always know the name of the file. So if you didn't rename it, you have half a shot of finding it again. Um, but what we basically would do is we would use the search function in Spotlight on a Mac or File Explorer on a PC to search for DSF3459. And assuming that your external hard drive was plugged in, that the image went to, or everything was connected, Lightroom, or sorry, your File Explorer should be able to find where that file lives. And then you can move it back to where it was or update the link and tell Lightroom its new location. So 
it does kind of come down on you. Uh, unfortunately, there's no like magic bullet where you can hit the cleanup button and everything just comes together. It just takes time. It takes a lot of time to clean this up. But as long as you make sure that from now on you move things only within Lightroom, you're never gonna run into any sort of problem. It should be really simple and really straightforward. Also, I can't say how strongly I recommend developing a consistent workflow because if you're always importing the same way and you're always exporting the same way, you'll start to discover what the problems are with that workflow and you'll start to get rid of them so that you can work super cleanly. I honestly, have not had missing photos in maybe 10 years because I've been consistently using Lightroom and doing it the correct way that doesn't cause any sort of problems. So hopefully this makes some sense. In a later video, we're gonna talk about some other Lightroom problems like multiple catalogs or multiple catalogs with the same stuff in them and merging catalogs and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to start super simple with a problem that I think most of us have all experienced at some point or another. And that was missing images or missing folders. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Hit that dislike button. If you guys have a question or comment, leave it down below in the question section, in the comp, not the question section, in the comment section. And lastly, hit subscribe for more content from our channel. We put out videos every single week on Lightroom, photography, video, whatever it happens to be. Special thanks to Canon for sponsoring this video. They are awesome. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.